All right, hello high school biology students. I wanted to go over uh, something real quick, take a minute to do mitosis by the numbers, okay? Uh, we talk about the phases so much, but let's focus on the numbers. Mitosis by the numbers, okay? And specifically, we're going to be talking about human beings. Please keep in mind that when you're taking tests, that teachers can try to trick you up by changing the organism. Human beings always have a total of 46 total chromosomes. Remember that they could change it up and maybe talk about a banana. A banana has 22 chromosomes. So please, it's always important to understand what organism you're talking about. So we know in mitosis that is cell division, okay? And we know that we start off with a cell in a human being with 46 chromosomes, okay? Now we know one of the most important stages is interphase where that DNA doubles because a lot of students forget how do we get to 46 again because we're going to create two identical cells and if they're identical they're going to have 46 chromosomes in it. So cell is going to go through a process in interphase. Now we're not going to go through the entire thing. So interphase and specifically during the S or synthesis stage that's when the DNA doubles copies, replicates, duplicates, whatever the whatever book you're reading tells you. I've seen many many books with different uh, words behind them, but I will say DNA copies or doubles. And that's when we go from 46 to 92 total chromosomes, okay? 92 total. Okay? Then the cell goes through the process of mitosis. And then lastly, it gets to cytokinesis. I'm going to put this right here. All right. And then after cytokinesis, that is when they split off and have two new cells with 46 chromosomes there and 46 chromosomes there. And those are 100% genetically identical. And that is mitosis by the numbers.